I've always been interested in women's self-representational practices and particularly sexualized self-representational practices and the tensions between sort of gendered social structures and notions of agency and resistance. I'm still concerned with these same sorts of questions in a range of different media. Um, and over the years, this has led me to look at things like the increasing rates of female genital cosmetic surgery practices um, and sexting practices and discourses about sexting in schools. Um, and more recently, I've been writing about um, cultural writing coming out of, you know, streaming media platforms written by young women. And, I, and I'm still interested in these same kinds of questions of, of the way in which women speak back to um, gendered social structures and, and how gender and engage with gendered social structures in their, in their creative practices and self-representational practices. I'm going to talk about discourses of oversharing and how this term, you know, plays out in, in, in public debates about social media practices because I think this term itself represents some really important contestations that are taking place over um, the meaning of intimacy in the digital era. So intimacy is by no means an uncontested term. It's by no means a simple simple term or an easily defined term and I think right now um, in you know and in ongoing ways we're seeing really interesting contestations play out over what does intimacy mean in the digital era and in the era of, of privatized commercial social media platforms and often I think that debate plays out through notions of oversharing so I'm going to discuss a few just a few examples um, of a couple of viral images that have been sort of negatively judged as oversharing or as the wrong kind of self-representation or an excessive kind of self-representation via social media. And I'm going to try to unpack through those examples the kind of genders, class and racialized logics behind that term oversharing. As part of the program of research at the Centre for Cultural and Technology, for instance, we're really interested in projects that uh, get at and examine the messy boundaries in digital intimate publics between creative and artistic practices and commercial practices or intimate media practices versus political media practices and, and the, the messy overlaps there or commercial media practices versus intimate and caring social media practices and again the messy overlaps there with that that grounding in notions of the juxtapolitical and publics and counterpublics that helped us understand that politics is about so much more than just the political sphere or the public, the Habermasian public sphere. If we take, if we ground the work in that theory and see what comes out of that, I think we're still getting lots of interesting questions. 